All right, uh, we're back on the caliper leak. And as you can see, it is not a pretty situation here. So this was all painted black. You can see the brake fluid got all over the caliper bracket. Now I did check the nipple, just checked it, I pumped the brakes a little and that is dry. Um, but you can see here where it's seeped all over, all over and gotten in there. Um, I don't think it's the line right here. I don't see any evidence of that. Something, it's, it's, it might be coming out from the pistons themselves and just seeping like a slow leak. I don't know. You guys got any ideas? Um, but obviously been uh just slowly coming out i've been doing a gravity bleed <laughs> i checked the master cylinder it's like down about a quarter of the way so it's not fast but man what that is ugly Ugh. so hopefully um you know i can diagnose this uh i think i'll pull the wheel pull the caliper off maybe wrap it with some paper towels or something and see if i can locate the leakage the seepage I guess we'll see if the back of the uh, brake pads have anything on them. Probably. Maybe the brake pads are ruined. We'll see. Okay, I got the uh, brake pads out and I don't see any evidence of fluid in there. Pads are fluid free. Well, it's not coming from the cylinders. Um, I think it's something going on up here, but I mean, I got to check this again, but it, this was dry when I pumped the brake. So I don't know what else it could be. I guess it could be this, the bolts that hold it together. You know, it could be this large bolt. Uh, we got to keep investigating. That's fun, isn't it? That's what happens when your car sits around in the driveway, <laughs> gets rained on. Okay, let's look at the carnage, first of all. Isn't that pretty? So, yeah, it's just eaten away at all the paint on the back of the bracket, unfortunately, which means if I want to fix it, which I do, then I'm going to pull the rotor off and take the bracket off because the bracket, one of the bracket bolts is there. And that thing is torqued to like 80 foot pounds, as I remember. So I think I just have to do it, you guys. I'm not gonna let this sit like that and just have no pain and get all, I mean, it's just surface rust, I guess, but. Uh, so I, here's what I think the problem is. I think it was this, this um, bleeder nipple was tight, but it's not sealing and you can kind of see, can you see that? how it's hard to see there's no light in here but there what i saw was basically like the trail is coming from here and it was just dripping down and because it's so slow it just seeped out everywhere and just started getting on everything it's not coming from here because there's nothing there's nothing it could come from from this bolt but then it was just you know it was just moving like like a mold <laughs> like a fungus across everything which makes sense i mean it's a liquid and it's a fairly viscous liquid so it's just sticking to everything and uh finding a path you know so i think that's it um i first i want to fix it fix this before i clean everything up i guess i'll just try to swap out swap this out and uh see if that fixes it but for right now i'm just gonna let it sit here and uh, I'll probably just stuff a shop ta shop rag on it, shop towel, and see if that, you know, what happens there. But at least now I think I can isolate it and then I'll, I'll pull the disc off and, you know, get going on, on uh, cleaning this up and, and repainting it and stuff. You know, without getting too specific, if you guys think about it, um, a lot of problems in life are caused by nipples. 
think about it. That's all I'm gonna say. By the way, 15 sixteenths. Why? <laughs> when seven eighths and one inch were also available. All right, now we just need to get this one out and uh, I think we can take this off. There she blows. It does blow. <laughs> I cracked myself up. All right, I'm gonna clean this up. I might as well do it, get some paint on it, maybe put it semi back together. Look, it got the paint all the way up at the top. That is ugly, you guys. Ugly, ugly stuff. All right, so we're gonna get all this brake fluid cleaned up and might as well, uh, yeah, I think we can just get some paint on this thing and get it back together in the day. Good enough. All right, let's put it back on. There we go, you guys. Good as new. No more sad paint. Maybe a little sanding, hmm? Yeah. All right, gang, we're gonna end this video here. Um, I need to leave this off until I figure out exactly where the problem is. I think it's in that n a bleeder nipple. Uh, and I may or may not have the right one, or I may need to seal the threads or something. I don't know. If you guys have any advice, leave it. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And you were mildly entertained. See you next time.